Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And um, so um, a lot of people have been asking questions about 25H2 and um, should I go, should I not go? <laughs> And, um, and and how do I deal with the fact that I don't want it now? And uh, can I stop it? So there, there's, you know, acts and there's different things that you can do to stop it if you want. But remember one thing, it isn't forced on anyone. If you see it and it installs, you did something like maybe look at Windows updates too many often times um, and even if it downloads and it shows up here it should technically be a button that says download and install it should not automatically do it so I think that's something to know is that um, it is not forced for anyone um, if anybody got it without doing anything let me know I'd be curious to know but from what I know is that even if it shows up in Windows Update, it's not a forced thing. You just ignore it. All right? And you won't get it now. Should I get it if it's there? You know what? 25H2 isn't really much different from 24H2. Now, there is something that somebody brought up on the channel as a comment that, yeah, I'll, I'll have to agree with it. 25H2 is a update that will enforce the use of AI in Windows 11. And that is not a, a you know, a false or a fake news uh, because I've seen a few people saying, well, isn't 25H2 kind of pushing AI a little more? Microsoft kind of says, yeah, okay? It, it's, it's, not a, uh, it's, it's not a fake news. It's, it's, it's yeah, they, they, they kind of say that 25H2 might start pushing even options of AI that are in uh, Windows uh, Copilot plus PCs. Now, not a recall and things like that, but some of the features that don't require too much power um, might show up in 25H2. And we know that you know Microsoft is pushing AI a lot more. So, yeah. So you, if, you, if you've been waiting for just like, I don't want it for now, well, uh, at least it's not showing up for the majority of you guys. Now, the scary part is, what does that mean exactly? Microsoft did issue on Friday a statement saying that, oh, we're going to push 25H2 to pretty much everyone very soon. So it's kind of confident 25H2 is good and, and everybody should have it. Uh, <laughs> This is where it gets a lot of people mad. Um, I have it on my machines, and I don't see much of an, and I don't see any differences, honestly. But I can understand people saying, you know, I just want to wait, and it's fine. Yeah, you have that is a right that you have, and I think Microsoft should keep that right to everybody. That well, I don't want it now. Um, don't don't push it. Uh, usually a new version like 25H2 isn't pushed or forced on anyone until very late when the previous version is getting close to end of support. So technically, I don't think 25H2 should be pushed to anyone by force until, you know, much uh, later next year when, okay, we're going to be moving on in versions and all of that. But, uh, yeah, uh, it all depends on what you want to do. Uh, some enthusiasts are okay with moving on. I'm moving on because I do videos. And I want to show you guys the stuff. Maybe even sometimes show you guys the stuff you don't want so that you know that you don't want to go there. Um, but, yeah, I, I get it. But, you know what, just, just ignore it. If it does show up in Windows Update, I don't think it's going to force itself. I think it's just going to say, oh, you know, you can click that download and install button. But if you ignore it, it doesn't do it on its own. Um, once again, if anybody got it without doing anything, let me know. And of course, I'm not talking about people in the insider program. So we'll see as time moves on. But uh, yeah, um, I, I understand the concern of some of the users. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.